Fall is in the air, it's one of my favorite times to fish, it's one of my favorite times to chase big, big fat walleye in open water. One of the questions I get a lot at seminars is, what are my favorite crankbaits for fall fishing? So I'm going to run you through some crankbaits that I would not go on the water without if I was going to look for a big giant fish in the fall. Let's start with uh, a basic, an old time favorite, the Reef Runner. Uh, this is the 800 series deep diver, I also like the 700, same size and shape body but just with a little bit shallower diving lip. Make sure you've got some Reef Runner 700s and 800s in your box if you're going to chase fall walleye. The last couple of years, about the last half dozen years, these bandits have been just dynamite on Lake Erie. They have a great rattle, they make a great low frequency sound, they have a great action in the water and fish just absolutely love them. We've done some research over the last six, seven years with bandits in the water and we know for a fact we catch more fish with bandits in the water than we do without them even if the bandit doesn't catch fish. Stay tuned for more on that study a little bit later. But I wouldn't go fall walleye fishing in open water without a bandit, a deep bandit crankbait. Another one of my favorites, like everybody else, is a Rapala Deep Husky Jerk. This is the 12. We also fish the 14. These baits have a tendency to run a little flatter, whereas these other baits run very, very aggressive nose down. The Deep Husky Jerks have a tendency to run a little bit flatter and have a little bit different action. I wouldn't be on the water in the fall without Deep Husky Jerks 12s and 14s in my spread. They catch a lot of fish, and there are days that this bait will catch all the fish, and these other style baits won't. So make sure you've got some Deep Husky Jerks. Another favorite, a fairly new bait from Smithwick. This is the top 20, and it started with the P10, which is, a, again, same exact bait, but just a shallow diver. When the top 20 came along about two years later, a deep diving version. I wouldn't be on the water without these. Again, we got that one single rail that makes that thud. I'm telling you guys, in that cold water of fall, low frequency, that thud in your spread makes a lot of difference. And a top 20 deep diver, or the P10 shallow diver from Smithwick, are one of the baits that I would love to have in the water. Something we picked up a couple years ago that we fish a lot, this is a Yozuri walleye minnow. Uh, it has a little different action, it's got a, a completely different shape, a lot wider on the back, a little skinnier, it's got kind of a triangle shape when you look at it from the top down to the bottom. Some days these baits can be the ticket, and again we've got that one rattle in there, you can hear, it, you can hear the, the, the high frequency sound, but there's one big rattle in there making a low frequency sound, that's key in the fall. If you're going to add something new, you want to add a few new crankbaits to your box, try these Yozuri walleye minnows in the deep diver. And an old standby, an old favorite from both Saginaw Bay and Lake Erie is the old style Storm Deep Thunderstick. Uh, this is kind of my ace in the hole some days. I don't fish it all the time, but if the bite's off just a little bit, everybody's not catching around these normal baits, I may put a deep thunder stick in the, in the water and some days you'll really be surprised. It's a bait that I've believed in for close to 30 years and I don't ever go on the water in the fall trolling for big walleyes without it. So that's my bait selection for fall walleye. Um, might be a little different than yours, but these are baits that we know work, catch big fish in the fall. Make sure you stock up on these. Pay attention to the color on the bottom, not the color on the sides and the top. You're going to catch a lot more fish this fall getting the right bait, the right size, the right action, and the right sound in the water. Good luck this fall, hoping that you can chase down that trophy wall of a lifetime.